Hi, I'm Brent with Instructor Gadget. Today we're going to look at a device called a USB flash drive, which is also known as a jump drive or a thumb drive. Flash drives are small storage devices to which you can copy files, and they've become quite popular because it's very easy to transfer files from the flash drive to your computer. They also have a larger capacity compared to CDs or DVDs. And unlike external hard drives which have moving parts, flash drives are very durable. Due to their small size, they're also very portable and reasonably priced. Today we're going to look at copying files from your computer to the flash drive. The first step is to plug the flash drive into a USB port. When you first plug the flash drive into the USB port, the autoplay window will most likely appear. This window is offering you shortcuts to tasks you may wish to perform. If the autoplay window does not appear, you can access the USB flash drive by clicking on computer. To do so, click on the start button in the bottom left hand corner. Within the start menu, then click on computer. Computer will show you your hard drives as well as devices with removable storage. Each device with removable storage will have a name as well as a letter in parentheses next to the name. This letter represents the drive. Your name and drive may be different. If you would like to personalize the name of the drive, right click on the drive and then choose the option to rename. Type the name you would like to give to the drive and then press the enter key to save those changes. To view what is on your storage device, double click on the drive to open it. You can see that we have three folders on this USB flash drive. If I'd like to copy these folders and their contents, I should first select the folders. To do so, I'm going to click on the first folder one time. I'm then going to hold down the control key on my keyboard and click on the other two folders to select them as well. There are a couple of different options to copy these folders to the computer. The first would be to click on one of the folders, maintain the left click down, and then drag and drop these to a folder on the computer. Another option would be to right click on the folders and then choose the option to either cut or copy. I then need to navigate to the folder where I want to copy the contents. Once there, I can right click inside the folder and choose the option to paste. The contents have now been copied to this folder. The difference between cut and copy is that cut will remove the contents from one location so that they can be pasted into another, whereas copy will create a duplicate copy of the contents in each location. To delete a file or folder from a USB flash drive, right click on the item you would like to delete and then choose the option delete. You will be prompted with a message asking if you're sure you want to permanently delete this folder. Click yes or no depending on your desire. Before we can remove the flash drive, we must use the safely remove option. To do so, first click on computer. Then right click on the device you want to safely remove. Choose the option to eject. When you receive this message, safe to remove hardware, the device can now be unplugged from the computer. Flash drives are great tools. There are several great brands out there, but I like two in particular. Patriot makes the exporter, which has a faster transfer rate and is also very durable. SanDisk has a U3 technology, which allows you to run a program directly from the flash drive. I want to thank you for watching this episode of Instructor Gadget. I want to encourage you to visit our website, instructorgadget.com, for more tutorials as well as additional resources.